So I got a message uh, releasing to Articulate Storyline. So I message on, on LinkedIn uh, because I post stuff on LinkedIn. Hello everyone. Um, saying, uh, let's read it out. On slide four, I want the user to interact with all three pieces before moving on to slide eight. So what happens is on slide four, which I'll show you in just a moment, there's, there's three things to click on. So you click on one, it takes you to another slide. You read the information and then you click on something, return you back to the first slide, click on another one, same again, another one, same again. You return there and then the person who's messaged me, they want it so that then you can then progress to slide eight. So how do I do that? Well, watch this video, I'll show you how to do it. So what we're looking to do is, you know, this is the uh, this is the slide that people are gonna start on. We'll start here, they'll work their way through it. They get to this 1.4 anyway. So on 1.4, if we go into it, you've got these three buttons. The user's gonna click on this button. I'll show you They'll click on the first button. They'll go to whichever course it is, or go to that slide, sorry. And then once they've completed that slide, they'll be returned back to this slide. Click on that button, go to there, return back. Click on that button, go to there, return back. And the query is how do we then have it so that the next button appears to allow them get to go to this slide, but only once they visited all of these. Well, let me show you. Now the person sent this to me, thankfully, and helpfully, they created a, a layer here. And this layer, so this is what it looks like normally. Click on the layer, you then get a next button appears down the bottom. So essentially we want to say, show this next button when the user clicked on this, this, and this. Let me show you how to do it. First off, go into the slides that it impacts. So it's these ones here that we're going to look at, these three, and you want to use variables. Now, a lot of people don't use variables. They don't know how to use variables. Um, it's because they're a bit more difficult to use, they're a bit more complex, um, but don't worry about it. I'll show you exactly how to use them for this scenario. So just follow what I do and you'll be fine. So click on this button at the top here, which is for manage project variables. It's this button here. Click on that. And what you want to do, don't need to worry about any of this, but you want to create a new variable. So create a new variable, which is this one here, this plus icon. Give it a name. Now you should be naming it something useful. So uh, something related to the slide, so you know what it is about. But I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to call it V1, okay, for variable one. Then the type, you need to change the type to true or false. This is important, make sure it is true or false. The default value must be false, okay? So that's very important. So it should look like this. So V1, true or false, false, very important. Click okay, and there it is there. And we wanna do that for three or well, three times because we've got three different slides that we want to apply variables to. So again, click on this plus icon to create a new one, call it V2, true or false, false, okay. And again, V3, true or false, false, okay. So we've got V1, V2, V3, and then just click okay. Now on this slide, what we want to do, we want to adjust a variable. So create a trigger, so this button here, create a new trigger, and you want to adjust a variable. And the variable being, so click on this where it says sound here, it might be saying something completely different for you, but essentially the variable you need to set, and click on that, set a V1 to true when the timeline starts on the slide. In other words, when the user enters this slide, the variable V1, which is currently set at false, because that's what we created, will change to true. Click OK. Now, you click away from there, click back onto it, Press Control C to copy it. You go to this slide here, which is a different one. We're going to paste it. So Control V and then change that variable to number two. So your V2. We'll go over this all in a second again, so don't worry about it. Click on that slide again. So this is the third slide in the list that we want to, the user to visit. And once again, make sure it's actually on the uh, the thing. So let's have a look. Good. So I was on a layer when I came to this, but make sure it's on the main body of it. Paste again, set V3 to true. So if we have a look at this. You've got this slide here, which is the first one they're gonna be visiting, which is set V1 to true. Second slide, set VT, V2 even to true. And this one here, set V3 to true. All of them is when the timeline starts on this slide. So the user, 
And we go back to this very first slide here at the top, so 1.4. They're going to click on that. They'll go to this slide. It will show it as true. They'll go back to this slide and then they'll repeat the process three times. We now need to create a trigger. And the trigger is going to cause this information security regulations uh, layer. If I click on it, which is the next button, to appear on the condition that all three things have been visited. So in other words, variable one, variable two, and variable two, three even, are all showing as true. So what we want to do is create a trigger. So the trigger is, this one here is to create a new trigger. And you want the trigger to be show layer, which is this layer here, which is this layer here, which is the next button. When the timeline starts on this slide, if, and this is the important bit, if V1 is true, and if v2 is true and if v3 is true so it should be show layer that one there which is the next button when the timeline starts in the slide if v1 is true v2 is true and v3 is true click ok and there you go there you can see it now what we should do we should try that out so i'm just going to click on these slides i'm going to preview Select the slides. So we're on here. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to go to this first one, which is high tech. Read all the information about that. Click on close. They'll go to the second one. Users read all the information about that. Click on close. And then they'll go to the third one. Once again, read all the information about that. Click on close. And then we return back to the same slide, but you can now see the next button's here. So I click on the next button and I get taken to another slide entirely. And the process is working. So there you have it. That is how you do it. Now, if you used to have four buttons, you'd create four variables and you'd apply the fourth variable to the fourth one. Same with five, same with six and seven and so on. So that's all you need to be aware of. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a question down below in the comments. And I'll try and get back to you. If you've got a query as well of something you, you'd like to know how to do in Storyline, um, again, leave a comment down below. I'll try and help you out with that. I might even create a new video on it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I've got loads of Articulate Storyline uh, videos along with other tech tips, uh, product reviews and unboxings and so forth. Anyway, like the video, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Hope you found it useful.